Hello guys, you are now entering Kaki's kitchen. Do you know how to cook octopus? No. Today I will show you the way we cook the octopus here in Greece. The best way. It's very easy to prepare the octopus and cook it. I will show you the best way to keep it juicy and tender at the same time. Okay, step number one. We need to prep Mr. Octopus. I have an octopus that is about one kilo that has been washed to remove any sand or grit. Place your octopus on a cutting board. Cut off the hood. End over its eyes and keep only the hood. Turn the hood inside out and wipe clean with some paper towels. Turn it back over. Find the mouth at the center of the body and remove it. Separate the legs from the body and chop them both into two centimeter bite-sized pieces. Transfer to a bowl, place a pan over high heat and let it get very, very hot. Chop 15 shallots in half. Press down on each half with the palm of your hands and separate the layers, as I'm doing. Add four tablespoons of olive oil. Add your shallot. Stir and saute for three to four minutes until caramelized. These steps add so much flavor to the dish. Thinly slice three cloves of garlic and add them to the pan. Give the mixer a mix and saute. Add the octopus and saute for four to five minutes. Stir often with a wooden spoon. What a nice Mediterranean aroma that will fill your kitchen. Add 120 grams of pitted and sliced olives, two to three tablespoons of balsamic vinegar, two pinches of chili flakes, three bay leaves, two tablespoons of honey, and some pepper. Stir to combine all of the ingredients. Lower the heat, cover the pot, and now it's time to simmer the octopus. Uh, secret number one, we never add any liquid to cook Mr. Octopus. Mr. Octopus will cook in his juices. Uh, secret number two, we never add salt when we're cooking Mr. Octopus because Mr. Octopus is very salty and we will check the salt at the end of the recipe. You will cook it for 45 minutes if you want to be more chewy and uh, you will cook it one hour if you want to be more tender. So, after 45 minutes, Mr. Octopus is ready. And look at that. This stew is perfect. Uh, as you can see, when we cook octopus, uh, it loses most of its juices. And it's time to try some of this liquid sex. I will call it like that. I need to test if it needs more salt, but it's perfect. I add no salt. Oh my God, it's so tasty. And it's time to serve. It's ready. Can you see that? If you want more tender, you can cook it a bit more. For me, it's perfect like this. Serve this delicious octopus nicely on a plate and sprinkle with your choice of fresh herbs. That's all it needs. You will absolutely love this dish and it is a great way to show off your cooking skills to your friends. And now it's time to taste. I will Pick this bad boy. Look at this sauce. It is amazing. Okay, this dish is out of this world. It is so rich, you can feel the sweetness from the salads. You can feel the bay leaf, the balsamic vinegar, uh, the honey. It is so, so complete and so Mediterranean. If you never tried to cook octopus before, this is the best recipe to start. Please subscribe to my channel. It is free and it will help us to make more videos. Uh, please let me know your comments if you try that recipe. Uh, see you next time. Bye bye. Yasas. <laughs>